What is this startup screen? <laughs> Tanakamara. My name is Sage Blake. I'm a wanderer, storyteller, artist immature, and this time on Sage After, yes indeed, we have been cursed with this. If you're familiar with the Sonic Hacking Contest, you might have known at some point an entry known as Yes came into existence with such glorious zone names as Yesticles Zone. This is Yeth 2, a fan-inspired project based off of not just the original Yeth, but also the videos of a particular YouTuber. Insert this, I guess, as the crossover that will never probably exist. <laughs> uh, Sage Blake and Ant Dude, of all things. But yeah, this is a project spawned by... Ant Dude having a little too much of an affiliation with the original Yeth. And at that, the creator of this, being a fan of theirs, decided, yeah, you know what, let's go full meme and extend this. So far, it's not bad. I can tell from the file... Yes, good for me. Good for me that I was able to hold right and win. From the files that was within this game, I could vaguely tell it might be some type of uh, pixel game maker engine, if I remember correctly. Specifically by uh, the same people who made RPG Maker. Because it's got that same type of file. There, this is a file format. There's the dedicated folders for all of the assets that are like, hey, this is uh, where these tend to go, much like how they're set up for RPG Maker games. There is a dedicated thing that's uh, specifically, hey, this is opening a browser so you could see the program. This is probably just going to be Pixel Game Maker. One click will probably verify whether that's true or not, but we'll see. At least for right now, it's looking like Pixel Game Maker. Which, by the way, can be bought on uh, Steam and most other sources, so it's not hard to get your hands on. <laughs> okay, that sounds hard. Very cartoonish. Very stock. Still very funny. <laughs> uh... I haven't exactly mentioned, the music is fairly chill. It's not bad, just it's a little strange, if that makes sense. Maybe it's because I've been playing a lot of Sonic games and got used to their high energy music. Yeah, it's good for me that I got used to the high energy music of Sonic games. And then we get Yesticles Zone. Wait, what? That's an actual name! That's an actual name that doesn't involve the name- involve the word yes! Holy scrap! We actually have original names! That crap. Still good music. Uh, physics? Pretty sure you're not supposed to be working like that, but okay, whatever. I guess we'll take it slow. The patterns on those clouds could be cleaned up a little bit. They're a bit bitty. If that's part supposed to be part of the appeal, okay, uh... I'll leave it to you on that one, but for me at least, it's a little distracting. Hold it! Kill the music. Kill the music. That was... that... That's straight up the, uh... The music from... Sonic Rush. Oh, found you. What? Uh, 
I don't know what to comment first about that. The, the weird voice? That was like, ha, found you. The... <laughs> the obvious rip of Ant Dude's intro jingle. Or the loud trumpet noise that was, ha, you died. Ha, ha, you died. And this is taking a while to load. Uh. Uh. Okay, good. I was gonna get worried. Yeah, it seems like this music is using at least a sample of the uh, vocals from the last level of Sonic Rush. Interesting choice. How do you like that game? Okay, so that stays. That's good. So, back to progress. Hopefully I don't fall. Just take it a little bit slow, just in case. Because I'm a careful biddy like that. Whee! Good momentum. Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's actual scream. Never mind. Okay, me. Remember to jump there. Good. And somehow I gotta deal with this. I think a full rev is in order, and... Yeet! Uh, too much yeet! Too much yeet! Someone really needs to use the bathroom, huh? Okay, so if that was way too much rev... What is this? Just enough. Okay, good. Figures, I fall in the goddamn hole just before the end. Gah. Yes, good for me, game! I fell into the obvious hole. Escapade Zone Act 2. Wait! Oh! But... I just realized, technically, there is a yes in there. There is a yes. Yes, capades. Oh, why? Even in the fan games, we can't escape it! Really regular geometry. Hmm. Again, all this geometry can be fixed. Just use a bunch of circle tools to help you uh, with curves, if I remember correctly. Uh, what's with that background? Is it? Are you meant to be like in a building of some type? Because that's not 100% obvious. Maybe it's because the backgrounds are so simple. Oh, is that the goal up there? Seriously? That was a really short level. Huh. Then again, this is a demo, so not exactly everything is set in stone. Yes, good for me for clearing this 1 minute 30 level, probably. If that. Oh. That's why you said good for you, because that's the end of the demo. Okay. So, I guess give overall thoughts? There's an extra stage here and a character. And this music is Marble Zone. 
as slow jazz. That's kind of cool. Oh, this is the other character I unlocked. Is this Brez Sonic or something? I have no idea. Funky. Uh. <laughs> Let's try that again, this time with a little more pathos, please. Thank you. But yeah, overall thoughts, I'd say this isn't too bad, all things considered, for a start. It would be nice to see some actual textures on the on the ground and everything, because I don't know about you, but staring at black architecture kind of doesn't do it for me. I understand that the big purpose, really, of this, all of this is to lay out the terrain so that they can cover it in other materials later. Such, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm more than fine with that. Is this pit even makeable? I'm genuinely hoping it is. Because otherwise we have some problems in a soft lock. And I think we have problems in a soft lock. Oh good. So in that case, I know I can't make it all the way to the left. right. Smash this bunch and left. No, that's not going to make it. Oh, good! This is a soft block. Yay. Uh, oh, well. Um, I could also... Actually, this is the perfect opportunity to say the shapes of the terrain could use a bit of work. They've got a lot of odd curves and everything, almost as if uh, you just took a pencil to draw them. Which isn't bad just to lay it out initially, but it would be nice to see them, to see some of these slopes and everything rounded off properly as... Uh... Without that proper rounding, it's a little awkward to traverse and leads to some awkward issues with, hit with hitboxes and everything. You might have noticed at a few different points that I kind of just stopped dead when I shouldn't have, when it doesn't logically look like I should have. Yeah, that physically can't make it. Yep, I've got to restart the, the, uh, the game. Is there a pause button, mashing everything on the keyboard? Okay, apparently... Something caused me to... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm just gonna have to close this. Uh, <laughs> There's also that little issue that sometimes you could just fly through the top of terrain. You know what? I'm not sure if I can travel over the top. No, I don't think I can anymore. Shame. Ah, nope! Okay, let's run this out. Hopefully I'll make it. Just enough. Course! Yeah, that might need a bit of tweaking, because... Specifically for the situation that I outlined, actually, where, say, you miss all your momentum going up the other end, you, you're you stuck. There's nothing you could do. I understand that many people look negatively on speed boosters and the like, but that would be a situation where a speed booster would be useful, just so you could actually clear the gap. 
And by the look of it, I can't gain access to the other character because I restarted the game. And there are definitely a lot of extra memes in the background. And references. Including to Ant Dude himself. Uh, with all things settled, I think it's about time I return to my void. As usual, link will be in the description so you can try this out for yourself. Give it a shot if you want to. Then again, talk to you,